All right, so today's video is gonna be how to jump a 2011 Jaguar XJ. After sitting for three weeks, the car started up with no issues. I drove it for a day, left it here, and then two days after that on Easter, I wanted to take the car to visit my family, and I go to start it up, and it doesn't start. The reason why I think it, it's a dead battery and not a starter is there was no issue with the starting of the vehicle when I started it a few days ago. And another indication of the battery being very weak, not able to start the car, is how slow that mirror opens. This car is extremely weak. I'm not sure why the battery is dead. But we'll see what happens when you try to start it. Nothing. Clock spins backwards. Nothing. No power at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump the car. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And what we're going to use is my little jumper pack that I have here. I got this off Amazon. This thing is great. I'll link it in the description. Um, something similar, you know. I charged it fully last night. So I'll show you guys where to connect this thing. First, what you want to do is you want to open the hood. Car's very dirty. Yes, I know I have to clean it. It's been sitting for the winter. All right, so now that you're in the hood, what you want to do is go to the left side, right over here, where you see this icon right here. So now what you want to do is you want to take these tabs out. All right, so I removed all the tabs on this, and now we have access to this little fuse panel right here. So you have to keep in mind that the reason we're doing this is that the battery is not located in the front of the vehicle, but is located in the trunk. And when you have no power, you have to supply power to the vehicle in order to, to open the trunk because the trunk is electronically assisted. Now, I might have enough power to open my trunk, but I don't want to risk it. And I also want to show you guys how to do it. So we're going to open this up from here, forward. You'll see here on this diagram, positive goes to here, right there, and then negative is supposed to go right over there. Now, if yours won't reach there, I think you can possibly jump anywhere on this vehicle since this entire vehicle is grounded, but we're going to see if I can reach to there, but I doubt I'll be able to. So let's get the jumper pack. All right, so I got my jumper pack here, it's connected. What we're gonna do is we're gonna connect that positive to that area. Positive right to there. And then negative. We're gonna ground it here. Once this is connected, you take out your key and you open the trunk. There you go. Just like the directions say. Positive, negative, trunk, open the trunk. And then you jump from the trunk, which we're gonna do right now. You do not jump it from here. So it is very important that you do not jump the vehicle from this spot. This area of the vehicle is not designed for you to be able to jump the car from this spot. You can mess up a lot of things if you try to jump from this location. This connector right here is very thin. And you don't wanna risk blowing this fuse here or any of the fuses in here or anything in general in the vehicle. There's no reason for you to jump from here. You should never jump from here. Always jump from the battery in the trunk, which we're gonna do right now. Go ahead and move a lot of stuff around. Uh, quick little tip right here. This attachment on the rug on the bottom, you pull it up and then you latch it on top of this rubber piece here where it then secures in place. So you don't have to hold that up. All right, so now we have the cover open and the battery exposed. Now, I had to do this video again because originally I jumped this battery the incorrect way. I did not know that. There were people in the comments that were very nice about it and said that I was doing it the wrong way. So I took the video down right away and I did some research and I looked in the manual and it states a different way than I thought. And I want to thank everybody for pointing that out. And I didn't want any misinformation online, so I took it down right away and did my research and I'm man enough to admit when I'm wrong and I thank everyone who commented about that now the way I originally did it was I attached the positive to the positive 
and the negative to the negative. So what was wrong about that was that the electronics in this car can actually be fried if you jump it from the negative. What you want to do is connect the positive line to the positive right there. Then you connect the negative to one of the chassis points right here. So the car is now grounded. You plug the positive into there. Then you plug the cables into the donor vehicle. You turn the donor vehicle on and then you start this vehicle. Should start. There you go. But yeah, that's it. Um, I'm glad it was just the battery. There might be a battery drain somewhere in this car. I look quickly online in this gauge cluster. There's a bulb in there that may stay on when the car is off. So maybe one night I'll come in here, I'll turn the car off, lock it up, and I'll try to see if I can see any kind of light remaining on this gauge cluster at night that could possibly lead to a battery drain. Um, there could be many other things that's causing this drain. I mean, I hope it was just something that was just out of the ordinary because this really has not happened before. Um, this car sat for three weeks up on the top of the driveway and started with no problem when I came to start it. And then a few days later, it just didn't start. Any questions, you can leave it in the comments and you could send me an email at xjluxury at gmail.com. All right, guys, stay tuned. I got a lot more videos coming up.